Verse 13, for they that have used the office of a deacon well purchase to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. So, I mean, essentially the, the deacon ought to be able to be the point to be able to pastor a church. Essentially. I mean, you've got almost all the same things listed there. And um, what it is, is you need to find men of God that have these qualifications and you can rely on them to do the job that they need to do because all the work within the church is important. Flip over, if you would, to Acts chapter 6 because this is where I believe we see an example of deacons being ordained. So in the, in the early church, in the book of Acts, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you had the disciples, you know, preaching the gospel, and you start to see a lot of fruit. In Acts chapter 2, you see the day of Pentecost, and you see, you know, thousands of people being saved and baptized and added to the church. You see a lot of growth in a short period of time, right? So you're getting people just added to the church, and the church is just growing. And if you've got thousands of people being added to the church, that's a lot of people. That's a big church. You have a lot of things going on. And that's where we run into this problem in Acts chapter 6, which is one of the responsibilities of the church is taking care of the widows. And I'll read this for you from 1 Timothy chapter 5. 1 Timothy 5, 3 says, Honor widows that are widows indeed. And then in verse 16 it says, If any man or woman that believeth have widows, let them relieve them. Which means take care of them. Take care of their needs, right? Take care of them, whatever food or anything else they need because they're not able to provide for themselves or a widow. And let not the church be charged that it may relieve, it being the church, may relieve them that are widows indeed. So honor widows that are widows indeed for the church, and the church is responsible for relieving them that are widows indeed. And it gives a whole list. We're not going to go through all the qualifications of who the church is supposed to care for. But it is the responsibility of the church to do this as part of the functioning. Is hey, you need to take care of the widows. That's a church's job. The widows that don't have family, you know, they've, they've, they've been living right, whatever, doing all this stuff. The church needs to take care of those people. God's going to take care of them through the church. That's administration of the church. In addition to a lot of other things that the church does, that's one of them. Acts chapter 6, look at verse number 1. The Bible says, and in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there's a lot of, the church is growing, there's a lot of people serving the Lord. There arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. So you've got a lot of Gentiles, you've got a lot of Greeks being saved, right? Because now they've had this mission to go out and preach the gospel of a creature, and they're no longer withholding themselves. And I've taught this just recently too, how the Jews wouldn't even like go and keep company or go talk to people of another nation because they thought that they were superior and they couldn't even talk to them. So the field, I mean, the harvest is, is, is plenty. The laborers weren't going into that field to reap the harvest because they thought that they couldn't even do that. So when they're sent, obviously you can see like, wow, the fields are white on the harvest. There's tons of people out there ready to get saved. So they're going out now preaching to the Gentiles. And the Gentiles are receiving it. And you can see that in the book of Acts. Hey, man, they're, they're receiving it. They're getting saved in, in multitudes. Okay? And now they're joining the church. Because they're getting saved. They're getting baptized. Right? But they're starting to get upset because their wid the Greek widows now are neglected by the church, by the daily ministration. The things that just daily being ministered to, being taken care of. Then it says in verse 2, Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. So now they're saying, Okay, well, we've got this job that we're already supposed to be doing. We need to you know, be preaching and teaching the word of God and studying and you know, doing all this stuff that, that is an important job. And we can't give this up because there's so much work that needs to be done that if we just... just took care of this business, which needs to be taken care of. If we just took care of this, we wouldn't even have the time to do the job that we really need to be doing and focusing on and having the positions that they held. They were teachers, and they were the ones that were supposed to be teaching a good doctrine, and they had that knowledge. Taking care of widows isn't as 
you know, difficult or challenging or doesn't require even as much wisdom as the teaching does, right? And as some of the other work that they're doing involves. So they need people to be able to handle these other tasks so that they can continue doing what they're doing. And if you get more people involved, the work's distributed more, 